Hi! Hello! Do not go away because it is finally May and with May I guess we need to do a, another TBR video like we just didn't do one like last month when we know we did but it's a whole new look so let's go! Welcome back to yet another TBR video. There are books falling behind me. This is going to be fun, <laughs> we think. But, like I already said in the beginning of the video, it's already May. Well, I'm pre-filming, so it, we have like a week left of April, and then on Friday it will be May 1st, so... Yay, it is finally May, and it's also my birthday month, our whole month, but like one of the days of May is my day, so you know what, we're gonna wing it. So, I guess without further ado, without dropping any plugs, eh, let's go ahead and jump into this is TR. even though I still have a bunch left on April's TBR that I want to try to read. That might get pushed into May as well, but we'll show you that later. So we'll show you what we're going to try to attempt to read this month. And like I said, it's my birthday month and I want to do some fun things. And I also have a cram reading session Twitter page that I want to try to cram as uh, much books in there as possible, which might be where those books are going to be going, most definitely where they're going, but it's the ones I want to try to focus on before that happens, we'll talk about right now. So let's do this. Alright, and if you guys haven't already seen or heard me be doing, I've been rereading the Harry Potter books kind of by the month. We started the first one off in January and now we're finally in May. So we're starting off with the Order of the Phoenix. I don't know what happened to my dust jacket on this book, but I've had it since high school and yes, it has my name and the please return on it because it does, it's me, it's my book, and there's a whole bunch of stickers on the front and the back and on the inside of this one because I wanted to keep these stickers forever and it's been with me forever, so there is that. And there's also stickers on the inside. This poor book is decked out with a bunch of little random stickers. <laughs> like, I'm not mad about it, but at the same time, it makes me kind of chuckle. Oh. And I decorated on the inside and put the year that I read it, apparently it was on my birthday, in 2004. High school days, let me tell you. I think that would have been like... Oh god, I don't even know what grade I was in when that happened. I want to say it was 12th grade, but... I don't think it was. I remember reading it in 12th grade though, so it probably could have been. No, no, it wasn't. Because I graduated in 27. Okay, anyway, besides that point, we're rereading Harry Potter book number five, because like I said, we're kind of doing it by the months, and I think that part would be fun, so that's what I've been doing. So when I finish the fifth, when I finish the books, I can't move right on into the next book like I really want to, but we're holding it off so, you know, I can follow it with along with the months, so, like next month we'll read the sixth one, and then in July, we'll read the seventh one. And then technically, it's not book eight, but we'll read Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in August. So, and then that would complete my reread of Harry Potter. Yay! Except for I never read six, seven, or the Cursed Child, so that'll be new to me. So, there's that fun fact. So, we're moving on from Harry Potter, okay? Okay. And I'm not going to give a description about Harry Potter because. Everyone here knows Harry Potter. I'm just rereading it as an adult, so there's that. 
and because I've had it on my shelves for a while and I have the audiobook in my Olivia account so I'm excited and I'm waiting for it to be May to start it and that is Truly Devious by Morin Johnson and all I really know about this one is like a mystery murder and a girl gets accepted into many years later to a true crime to see what happened to this person they got killed it is kind of like a Nancy Drew from what it sounds like and like maybe a little bit of Riverdale I don't know for sure but that's what it sounds like and I am here for this I want to spoil too much about it but it's about an academy it's about a famous private school in Vermont founded in an early 20th century tycoon for the best and the brightest students around. And when Iligaram's wife and daughter were kidnapped, the only clue was a mocking riddle listing methods of the murder signed with the frightening pesadem truly devious. Their disappearance became one of the great unsolved crimes in history. And yeah, that's pretty much all I want to know about Truly Devious. I kind of want to go out into it blind, even though I about poked my eye out. But it sounds like a really good time. And like I said, I have the audiobook, so I'm hoping to fly through this in May. Alright, the second book... Well, not the second, but the other book I want to get into... Excuse me, is The Storm Crow by Kaylin... Jo Josephin? I'm not exactly sure how you say that last name, but I've seen this around, so I'm going to give you a description on what it is. A storm is rising. In the tropical kingdom of Rodare, elemental crows are part of every aspect of life until the Aleutian Empire invades, destroying all the crows and bringing Rodar to its knees. That terrible night has thrown Princess Athena into a deep depression. Her sister Kaliza is busy running the kingdom after their mother's death, but all Thea can do is think of everything she has lost, including her dream to become a her dream of becoming a crow writer. When Kalzia is forced to agree to a marriage between Thea and the crown prince of Aleutia, Thea is finally spurred into action. And after stumbling upon a hidden crow egg in the rubble of a rookery, she and her sister devise a dangerous plan to hatch the egg in secret while joining forces with the other conquered kingdoms to ignite a rebellion. Oh, that sounds good. And there's a really cool map inside and oh my goodness. It looks gorgeous naked, I'm sorry. And then look at that gorgeous map on the in Oh, just I love when a book does that. Like I forgot what it looks like because I haven't opened it in a while and I've had it for a while. So May shall hopefully be the month. Be the month. We're moving on. <laughs> and I know I've gave a little bit of description on this book already in one of my videos, and that is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. And all we know is this princess, prisoner, orphan, and rebel. And like I said, I've already given description on this before, so I'm not gonna give another one on it. But I do really want to try to get into it because it hurts really good and I have all three books so maybe we can binge it. We don't know. We don't know. But I definitely want to give it a try. Alright, and the next book I want to hopefully try to get to. I read the first one like months ago or a year ago, something like that. And I really, really loved it. And that was The Bone Witch by Ren Kepiko. I am really sorry for some of these last names are really hard for me to pronounce, but I do try my best. But I would like to get into the Heart Forger by that author, and I want to know what happens to our characters. Like, I want to know what happens to T, and 
because the ending of the first book kind of like blew my mind and like I know she has like a new kid following her and they brought someone back from the dead I'm not gonna say who I remember who but I'm not gonna say in case you guys haven't read it but it is super good and it's just oh she wore the corpses for show they trailed behind her gross grossy fabrics of writhing flesh and bone spreading across the plain for miles around us intimidation she told me amused by my repulsion men abandon battle when they see their own fates in these ruined faces Woo! can't wait for the second one in the series <clears throat> we're okay what do you think and then I read the first book to this series as well a while ago, which is half bad, but I really want to get into Half Wild by Sally Green. This follows a kid named Nathan who is a, he's a half witch. Nathan thought his gift would change everything, but now that he's come into his magical powers, he's finding them difficult to control. And instead of feeling unlimited, he is now more trapped than ever, knowing his powers might not be enough to save his best friend, or the girl he loves. Like, I need to know what happens to Nathan, like, my precious little bean. Be safe. But he did have a father that was, like, really bad in magic, and they thought that he was going to be that way. I mean, he's half that way, but, like, half not that way. So that's why he's half bad and half not bad because of his birth mother. So there's that fun detail. But that's all I really want to give away of this one, in case if you haven't read the series by Sally Green and if you're into witches. And just, oh. This series is everything, and I really need to get a move on with Half Bad as I keep hitting the bug. She's gonna do it this month. We shall see. And I'm also waiting for the audiobook for Fireborn by Rosia Munda. Today it begins. Today we will rise. I've also talked a little bit about this on my channel before, previously, back on one of my videos. But all I know is that it's following these two kids, and they both want to be a class of dragon riders, and that's all I really want to know. Like I said, I tried to go into some of my books blind, but you don't always get that option. But I like that option, so we're going to go with that. This video is a little weird. It's all over the place. We're going with it. Now, I'm going to get a book behind me because it's quite a few books. Well, all right. The set, the other book I'm gonna try to get into is *Awaking Gods* by Sylvia Newell. I've the first book to this one is *The Sleeping Giants*, which I read last month, and I really enjoyed it. It's a different kind of sci-fi. It's kind of like *Illuminae*, where it's told in like files and like documents, but this one is more of told like in small like interviews. And it's different, it's unique, and I like it. And I want to see what happens in the second one. And then I eventually want to read the third one, which is only human. And basically they're finding the body parts of a robot all over the world. And then they try to bring it back to this uh, military station where they're working it on. And like try to put it together to see what this robot does. What this robot is like very instructive and dangerous and will try to kill you if it doesn't like you like it's really weird but like I liked it and hopefully that stays the same for Awaking a God so yes and then we'll get the other book that's behind me now for real I have had this book on every single TBR or about every single TBR that I want to put it on and it's been months since I tried reading half of it and then like I keep setting it down because I'm in and out of other books it's not that it's not good or anything it is it's just I've had other books that I want to focus on and this one is a chunkier one and I really need to finish the priority of the orange tree someone scream at me to finish it I know I know I really need to but it's also a big thick beast and maybe this month will be the month we don't know but we're hoping and this has been a 
been around for a while. It's just like I said, I I want to try to finish it, reread part of it to where I left off to finish the rest. So there's dragons, there's it's a standalone, it's got female female relationships in it, I believe. And that's all I really like I said, all I want to know about this one as well, about any of them really. But so far I remember it being really good. There's some characters in here that I liked. And just like I, I just need to finish it. That's all. I just need to finish it. There's one more book behind me. Okay. The other book that I have behind me, I've also been reading for a while as well, but I, like I said, I've been in and out of other books. So like the ones I started, I like stopped and set aside for like a year. Oops. And that other one would be Iron Gold by Pierce Brown. This is, um, this is also following Darrow from the Red Rising series, but it's not just told by Darrow, it's told by other people as well. There's like more than one point of view, which is kind of sad because I liked it all just being Darrow, but that's just me. But, uh, I really need to finish this because, like I said, I've been on it since like last year or so. Mm, sorry. It's not that it's not good or anything. It is. It's just... Other books capture my attention and then like I forget the ones that I previously started and I really need to stop doing that. Will I? Let's be real, probably not. But a decade ago, Darrow was the hero of a revolution. He believed it would break the chains of society, but the rising has shattered everything. Instead of peace and freedom, it has brought endless war. Now he must risk all he fought for for on one last desperate mission. Daryl still believes he can save everyone, but can he save himself? And throughout the world, other destinies intertwine with Darrow to change his fate forever. A young red girl flees tragedy in her refugee camp and achieves for herself a new life she could never have imagined. An ex-soldier broken by grief is forced to steal the most valuable thing in the galaxy to pay with his life. And Alexander Ayu Alun, the heir to an exile to the Sovereign, wanders the stars with his mentor Cassius, hunted by the loss of the world that Darrow transformed of dreaming uh, that will rise from the ashes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Iron Gold. Huh, I need to know what happens to Darrow and Severo and all the other characters that I do like. So, uh, there's that. Alright, so the other book, again, that I've been in and out of for like a while. <laughs> and that is uh, The Ruin of the Kings by Jenna Loins. I have the second book, The Name of All Things. In order to read that one, I have to finish the rest of this one, and this one is definitely good. And I like the guy Karen, who, huh, he's sassy, we like sassiness, and it's just, like, he finds out he's a prince, but he doesn't want to rule the kingdom. He wants to do other things. And then there's also, of course, dragons in this one. We love books with dragons. It's going to be a dragon month. And I'm here for it. So uh, there's that little short description of the Ruin of the Keens. It's just, it's really good. It's a fantasy. And it's got dragons. What more do you need? So there's that. And then I have uh, two more books left that I want to talk about that I want to try to get into, which is Red Hood by Elana K. Arnold. <clears throat> you are alone in the woods, seen only by the unblinking yellow moon. Your hands are empty. You are nearly naked, and the wolf is angry. Ooh. Since her grandmother became a caretaker when she was four years old, Beosa Myrtle has lived a quiet life 
in a little house in Seattle. She kept mostly to herself. She's been good. She, but then becomes the night of homecoming when she finds herself running for her life over roots and between trees, a furry of claws and teeth behind her. A wolf attacks. Bowzu fights back. A new moon arises, and with it, questions about the blood in Bertrand's past and on her hands as she stumbles home. About broken boys and vicious wolves. About girls lost in the woods, frightened but not alone. And that is Red Hood. It sounds really good, and again, wolves. I like wolves as much as I like dragons, so it's the best of both worlds this month. Alright, and then last but not least, I've had this book on my shelves for a very long time. Have I gotten around to it? No. No, I have not. But, we're definitely going to try. It's called Magnolia by Maria Davian Headley. I haven't heard a whole lot of people talk about it. But, it sounded really good when I got it, so let me tell you what it's about. Ezra Ray is drowning in thin air. Since she was a baby, Asa has suffered from a mysterious lung disease that makes it ever harder for her to breathe, to speak, to live. All the doctors can do is give her drugs and hope they keep her alive. So when Asa catches a glimpse of a ship in the sky, her family chalks it up to a cruel side effect of the medication, but Asa doesn't think this is a hallucination. She can hear someone on the ship calling her name, only her best friend Jason listens. Jason who's always been there. Jason for whom she might have more than friendly feelings. But before Asa can consider that thrilling idea Something goes terribly wrong. The sick mix catches up with her. Asa is lost to her world and found by another, Magnonia. Above the clouds in a land of a trading ship, Asa is not the weak and dying thing she was. In Magnonia, she can breathe for the first time. Better, she has amusing power and she can use it to change the world. As she navigates her new life, Asa discovers that war is coming. Magnonia and Earth are on the cups of a reckoning. In Asa's hands lies the world, lies the whole of a humanity, including the boy who loves her. Where does her loyalty lie? <clears throat> Asa's journey pulls her deep into questions of home, of love, of self, and just what it means to find them all. And that is Magnonia. Like I said, it sounds super good. It sounds like it's going to be like a sci-fi with a little bit of an alien twist into it. So, we like that here. <laughs> Alright, and there you guys have it. That is my maze TBR for those. And then like I said, for my cram reading session, I will do a separate video for that, probably right after this, so I can show you what books I want to try to cram into from May 23rd until May 27th, which my birthday is on the 26th, so you're welcome. <laughs> Not that you asked, but it'll be in that. So it'll be like a fun birthday, and you guys can join me if you'd like to. I will try to leave the Twitter handle for that down below, so you can go and follow it. It'll be fun, we'll do like sprints and maybe some challenges. I don't know just yet, but that sounds fun. So let me know down below if you guys are interested, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there, because you know you want to, and give the video a thumbs up if you like it and go ahead and share it everywhere that you could share of course and as always get some unexpected reading in there because you know why and not 
and hopefully everyone out there in the world is staying safe and that's all I have for this video so I will see you guys in my next one okay okay bye